Okay, guys, let's look at um, the momentum energy question. It says a mass, a ball of mass of 0 0.5 kg is suspended from the string of negligible mass. It, it, it is released from rest at point A. So it's suspended here. And it's at rest. It means that the initial velocity is zero, as shown in a sketch below. It passes through point B, which is 0 0.6 meters above the ground. So it goes down. As it goes down, what you need to notice, the velocity increases from 0 to B. Um, the magnitude of its velocity is 3 meters. So the velocity, when it reaches point B, it's 3 meters per second because the velocity increases all the time when an object it goes down the velocity increases now um, if you're looking here at point B it's at height the height is 0 0.6 meters right and then it proceeds down the velocity increases velocity still increases there but it just before it hits that object it reaches um, with its velocity. That velocity we say it's an it's a velocity before collision. And then the object we are told the object is stationary here. It collides with this stationary object here. Its initial velocity before collision is zero. So the initial velocity of the steel ball we do not know just before it collides with that. So now let's calculate let's let's answer the question question number one it says write down the, the principle of conservation of mechanical energy the principle of conservation of mechanical energy says the total mechanical energy in an isolated system remains constant check the exam guideline the grade 12 exam guideline now 4.2 it says calculate the mechanical energy of steel ball at point b one thing that I want you to note at point B, at point B there is a velocity there, it's 3 meters per second, and there is a height there. That means if there is a height there, that means the gravitational potential energy is not equal to zero. So if here, if at point B there is a velocity, the velocity is not equal to zero, that means the kinetic energy is not equal to zero there and there is the mechanical energy there now they want us to calculate the mechanical energy there so the mechanical energy there it will be um, at 4.2 let me calculate 4.2 here 4.2 the mechanical energy there it will be mechanical energy at B is equivalent to um, gravitational potential energy plus the kinetic energy there so the mass of the steel ball is 0 0.5 times 9.8 times the height at 0 0.6 and let me just move it a bit okay so it will be plus half the mass is 0 0.5 and the velocity there it's what it's 3 square so if you punch the entire um, the entire sum in the calculator you get 5.19 joules the this is the mechanical energy here guys for the fact that they said ignore the effect of friction that means the mechanical energy here at point A is equivalent to the mechanical energy at B and it's also equivalent to the mechanical energy at, at C the mechanical energy is conserved everywhere here now they tell us here as the steel ball swings through its lowest position C it collides with a stationary crate of 0 0.1 as I've mentioned that the crate is stationary the initial velocity will be zero immediately after collision the crate moves with a velocity of 3.5 meters to the right now the question now it says calculate the velocity of the steel ball immediately after collision now before we calculate the velocity of the steel ball after collision we do not even have the velocity just before it hits this which is the velocity um, before collision 
So how are we going to calculate that? We will use the principle of conservation of mechanical energy. We'll say the mechanical energy at point B it's equivalent to the mechanical energy at C and when we look at C we look at just before it collides we'll find that velocity let's find that velocity before it collides and then it will be easy for us to find its velocity after collision so we'll say in 4.3 step number one we'll start with the mechanical energy we'll say mechanical energy at B is equivalent to the mechanical energy at C so we do have the mechanical energy at B, right? So the mechanical energy at B, it's 5.19. And the mechanical energy at C, what do we have to know? The gravitational potential energy here because the height is zero and the gravitational potential energy will be zero. So this zero, it's the zero for gravitational potential energy. Okay, let me just put it like this before. It will be EP plus EK. So the EP will be zero, which is the gravitational potential energy. And then the kinetic energy there, which is, it's going to be half the mass of the steel ball. It's 0 0.5. And the velocity is the one that we want. We want that velocity. So we're going to have 0 0.25 V squared. We divide by 0 0.25. Then, what are you going to have here? We're going to have V. 